Now, one will be wondering, what can I do? In case I have a high blood pressure, what are some of those things that I can do? When I was talking about the risk factors or the risks or the things that increase your risk of getting high blood pressure, I mentioned the modifiable risk factors. For the non-modifiable, it might be hard, but for the modifiable ones, yeah, the reversal of those things will protect you. For example, eat a health diet. There should be greens, there should be fruits in your diet, at least in a day. You should eat at least a fruit, you should have vegetables accompanying your meals. Reduce the amount of salt that you put in your sauce, in your food, and in your other foods that you keep having. A normal person requires about one spoonful of, 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 of salt. Of course, some people have their meals prepared uh, at home where there are many people, so you're not going to tell them in today's sauce that is being prepared for 10 people, let's just put about one spoonful, no? But when they have put salt and you feel maybe it's not enough, don't add. There are some people who have a tendency of adding salt in food. If you feel it's not enough, don't add. If it's just enough, that's okay. It's well and good. But try to limit the amount of salty foods that you eat in a way of preventing hypertension. For those of you that don't engage in physical activities, try to be active. A sedentary lifestyle is a big risk. Try to be active, do something that makes you sweat. If it's walking around, if it's running, if it's jogging, you don't have to go to the stadium or field for you to exercise. You don't have to go to the gym for you to exercise. You can actually do something within a very small enclosure, a, your sitting room, your compound at your veranda that will make you fit and active. And for those that are doing the kind of uh, uh, activities, maybe at your workplace, you spend most of the time seated, you, you are a receptionist maybe, or you are a bank teller, you are a consultant that doesn't, uh, that doesn't do odd rounds or walk around and you just do offer consultation work. You need to find time to also do physical activities, physical exercises, because through that you will be preventing high blood pressure. People who are obese, people who are overweight, you need to do something about your weight. Many people ask, how can I control my weight? I want to control weight, I want to chop my weight. Two things, control what you eat, be active. Some people just do one. You find someone who exercises, they go to the gym every day, but when it comes to eating, they eat a lot of uh, starchy foods that have a lot of sugars that are going to increase their chances of getting all those things, but also increasing their weight. So balance out your meals. If you can have a balanced diet, that's well and good. It might not be that balanced, but at least you should ensure to eat greens, you should ensure to eat vegetables. Don't eat a lot of fried things, a lot of fatty, fatty foods, a lot of uh, uh, transformed foods or processed foods, those foods which are packaged and transformed, I mean, or processed, I mean, you had cassava, but now it has been made into something totally different and all those other things. By so doing, you will be preventing hypertension. For those of you that smoke and drink alcohol, it's not good to smoke. Smoking increases your risk of getting hypertension and many other illnesses. If you can stop, please do. For alcohol, if you can reduce the amount of alcohol you take, in a day, 
please do for those of you that take alcohol every day if you can reduce for men to about two bottles maximum and then for ladies one bottle maximum of beer that that will be uh, good but if you can stop it will be the best yeah then it is good if you have any other underlying illness like kidney disease diseases of the uh, glands that produce hormones it's better you go and seek for medical attention sometimes when those uh, underlying illnesses are addressed even the blood pressure tends to get okay that's quite important for those of you who are at risk according to the risks that we mentioned it's good like i said to go and get your blood pressures measured at least once in six months that will be very good once in six months get your blood pressure measured if it is okay well and good if it is high they will find they will tell you what to do and also some of the things that i have told you and i'm yet to tell you in this clip for those of you that have high blood pressure already you are not exempted from doing all those other things that the people who are preventing it primarily are told to do you have to eat well like i've told you you have to exercise if you still can there are those who might have hypertension and advanced heart disease or heart failure and are not able to engage in strenuous activities but those of you that are able to engage in strenuous activities and are able to exercise go ahead and do that for those of you that are obese and are hypertensive you still need to cut on that weight those of you who are overweight still you need to reduce that weight you need to reduce the amount of alcohol you take and you need to quit smoking if you have hypertension if you have a persistently high blood pressure other than that you are going to be given treatment those of you that qualify there are different categories of high blood pressure that we shall be able to explain to you when you come and we tell you where you belong but some people are candidate for starting medication there and then so you will be given medication and you are supposed to take this medication as prescribed by a professional health care provider if you are someone that has hypertension it will be important that you keep up with close monitoring seeing a professional health care provider they will be giving you appointments some facilities have uh, days when they see their hypertensive clients for example at Meng hospital we see our uh, diabetes and hypertension clients every tuesday so we we'll tell you come back maybe next week or come back on a tuesday after two months on a tuesday after three months on a tuesday after six months and we still uh, we check we check for other things the likely complications where you stand to ensure that you live on normally like any other person